on YouTube. This is Jam from JSA. And by the time of the video, you can tell this is an eBay scam video, but it's not your traditional eBay scam video because this, this phone right here, supposedly the Xcati D11, but it's not. So this is more of an oddball scam to the fact where I wasn't actually scammed, I received what I wanted, but the company that sold me the phone scammed another company in the fact that they just rebranded this. So I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Let me see. So I'm going to take it to the back real quick. All right. So first thing you're going to notice that's wrong right there. This thing has dual cameras. It should not have dual cameras. See? There's the eBay listing. It should not have dual cameras, but for some reason it does. And then we get into the OS. All right. So it looks like fairly stock Android, right? Well, according to the website, oh, this one takes forever. I can get it to load. It's just going ballistic here. There it is. The OS should look like that. It should have an iOS skin, but it doesn't. So that's odd. Also, the SIM card tray won't open, but. I'm going to Google by accident. And then, when I go into Geekbench, what does that say? Does that say Xcati D11 Plus? Or D11, I should say? No. Even stranger yet, when I go into Settings, look at the build number. There's something on. Oh, this one says some lag, so. Oh, school settings. Click too soon. Where's where your things? Where are your things? It says this is an Astro Mercury. And I googled it, and both the Textile X Plus and the Astro Mercury are identical to this phone. So, uh, what's going on here? Is this, is this a scam? So, what I think Xcati has done is they literally just like rebranded, put their logo on the back of this phone and taken off the original logo because this is not the same phone if you can remember from what I showed you here. See, look, it's not supposed to look like this. It's supposed to have one camera, but again, the OS is not, you know, really the same. And if you're thinking, oh, maybe they just ship it with stock Android and they say, you know, it looks like this, you know what I mean? Well, let's go on. Where's YouTube? Do I have a YouTube on here? I think I do have YouTube. Don't have YouTube. Do I not have YouTube? Should have YouTube menu if I don't here. Get that. Let's see. Is it on this one? Chrome. Let's not use this one. Gotta use this one. Come on. This thing is so laggy. I'm sitting on a pillow here. I'm using the All Call Bro as my second nervous. I probably should be using my Galaxy S7 Edge, but actually, you know what? That one has a YouTube app, so. It just has a low battery, so I figured, you know. And did you check? This does, it's not like one of those fake dual cameras. It has a real dual camera setup, so. Where's this one, Dennis? I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi real quick. Let me put my password. Sorry, I'm prepared. I thought this was connected because I brought this, you know, up to where I'm from. So, if that isn't the, the most blaze powder in here, some the... wow, that is a 
I think I broke it, actually. Look at that OS. Does that look like this OS? It doesn't. So, uh, so something, something fishy. From, something odd is afoot here. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know what model phone this is. I can't exactly call them out because it's saying it's two different things. Now this is, like I said, not a traditional box, rock in a box thing. But also the camera quality is supposed to be 8 megapixels. However, when I go into camera quality, it's 13 megapixels. So I'm not complaining. Again, probably got a better phone for the money. It's also got better RAM and storage options than I thought. But overall, um, I'll, I'll probably link it in the description if you want it. Um, it's not a bad phone. It's still working. It's probably working better. It's probably a reverse scam, if you know what I mean. Or kind of like, I got the better end of the deal than they did. I'm not 100% sure. This is not a fingerprint sensor. I don't know what this is. It's just like a home button. However, if you hold it, if you double click it, you can close that. So, I don't know. I think I got a better end of the deal because the other one doesn't have the buttons right here. So, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, if you want to know more, contact the seller. Also, I don't know what these rings are for. Apparently, they're for decoration. I contacted them about that. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. And remember, go buy this if you want. It's actually 72 bucks. Really good phone. But remember, watch another video because that's how I do it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do my hand like this. And then I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to press the off button. Bye.